Hey guys in this video we're gonna be checking out the top 5 best hiking shoes, that are available on the market for their true quality. I made this list based in my personal opinion and hours of research and have listed them based on popularity, quality, price, durability, user opinions and more. If you want to see more information in the updated price you can check out the description below and also make sure subscribe for more reviews ok so let's get started with the video. Starting at number 5, we have the The Best Hiking Shoes for Light Backpacking and Technical Terrain. The La Sportiva Spire GTX is our winner for best hiking shoe because of their all-around performance that blends lightweight movement with stability and support. If we had to pick one shoe to take us through most situations comfortably and safely, this is the one. The Spire GTX combines the nimbleness of wearing trail runners with the support and protection of a lightweight hiking boot. La Sportiva even classifies the Spire as a low-cut hiking boot. This shoe stood out for its versatility and comfort. It's got hard outsoles that can handle long days on rocky, technical terrain and breathable synthetic uppers that are great for hiking in the heat. The Spire quickly became our go-to shoe for dog walks in the muck and our first choice for hiking with a loaded backpacking backpack or child carrier. Moving on at number 4, we have the great all-around hiking shoes for urban and day hiking. The The North Face Vective Explorus Future Lights are responsive, lightweight hiking shoes with a rockered sole that provides an extra boost forward on the trail and saves your legs on long days. While we think the Hoka 1-1 Anacapa is a better choice for most people looking for a rocker, we recommend the Vectives for anyone who might be put off of the Hokas but who still want propulsion and precision. The Vective Explorus compares to some of the best trail runners that are good for hiking, being solidly built with a nice mix of cushion and support suitable for a wide variety of trail conditions. At number 3, we have the The Best Budget Hiking Shoes. The Merrill Moab 3 Low Waterproof is a dedicated hiking shoe and doesn't stray from its intended use, day hiking and light backpacking. For years, the Merrill Moab series has been a trail mainstay because it's a reliable and comfortable out-of-the-box hiker. Merrill's most recent redesign to the Moab 3 keeps all the features that have made them a hiking gear staple, but has added a more contoured footbed for arch support and new upper material to increase comfort and performance. We also noticed the weight per pair has gone down by 2 ounces in this model. Merrill hiking shoes have long been a favorite of hikers, and the Moab 3s are their best. At number 2, we have the rugged and protective hiking shoes great for backpacking and light loads. The Obo Sawtooth 2 Low Waterproof can handle rugged terrain and scrambling just as well as the groomed hiking trail. They've got ample support for all-day hiking, and they don't leave feet feeling hot and sweaty. The B-Dry Waterproof system works as it should, and breathability isn't traded off as much as most waterproof trail shoes. The sticky rubber outsole on the sawtooth provides excellent traction and stability on unforgiving rocky terrain. When tied, it excels at locking your foot down, and we didn't experience any rubbing. We also found the toe cap protects against stubbed toes on rocky trails. We think the technical features might be too fatiguing for more accessible trails. If you're looking to move quickly, these shoes feel slightly heavier underfoot than the trail runner leaning models we tested. But, these are solid waterproof hiking shoes for steep mountain hiking with obstacles aplenty. And finally at number 1, we have the hiking shoes we're looking forward to testing. When we first wrote this guide, we tested the Adidas Terex Swift R, and we called it a capable, agile, and casual hiking shoe. Since then, it's now in its third revamp, and the men's and women's Adidas Terex Swift R3 GTX is next on our list to test. From its looks, it still seems sporty enough to wear to the gym and capable enough to handle loose rock. For those looking to make miles quickly, these R3 looks like a great option, and we can't wait to try them. We're also curious to see whether there have been any changes to the quick pull system that closely resembles that on the Solomon X Ultras. Thanks for watching and that's all for now, I hope to see you guys in the next video, till next time.